Hello everyone and welcome to Jojo's Brick Time. I have here a very cheerful looking set with lots of sunflowers from JM Bricklayer. So this is the Botanical Collection Sunflower set and it's inspired by Vincent van Gogh's um, sunflower picture. So on the side here just shows that it's got an infrared lamp. Okay, I don't know what that will be, but um, you can display it as a picture or you can hang it up. And there's the picture on the bottom that is the inspiration behind this set. Now, I really like the look of this. It's different to what I normally build and get. And, oh, I've used these bricks before and they're really good. And it looks like we get lots of ponytails there. So it doesn't look like we get many bags in this set, but they look chock-a-block full of bricks. So 1166 pieces all up. We get these base plates and a separate bag. And ah, oh, there is a light set. Okay, I wasn't expecting lights in this set. Let's see. So it looks like a little LED strip light. Oh. I think that's going to look pretty cool and we've got some wall hooks as well now I won't be putting them on because I don't want to be putting holes in my walls but we're going to take a look at the instructions because this is a very interesting looking set from like what I normally build here's the different range of colors you get very earthy looking looks like a very pretty 3d picture and oh there you go you build like a little stand at the back so it's like a picture frame as well shows you how to put the hooks in there i think this is going to be a really pretty set to build i'm looking forward to having a look at this one Alrighty, let's review All right, I thought I'd show you. This is the number one labeled bags. Look at all the pieces. This is what stage one does. So there's quite a lot there. I think it's gonna take me a little while to do that. And here it is. Very nice gold frame here. I do love the aqua color, the light oranges and yellows it does look very nice i've got the wire in place so the wire goes underneath as well so we'll give it that 3d illuminated effect this is what it looks like at the back we've got the bits there for the hooks at this stage i'm not sure how easy it's going to be to remove this piece to turn the light on and off um, it looks nice lit up like if you see here it's very bright yeah I, I don't know how easy it's gonna be to turn it off and on and it looks like it turns off and on by itself so I don't know how that works at the moment but I like the look of it so far I was actually showing it to you upside down before this is what it's meant to look like the aquas this way around so it actually has a little drawer here underneath and a pr um, printed label of the sunflowers a little drawer and we got some bananas here different colors to make it look like the leaves have fallen off so that's all attached at the moment so I actually don't know how am I going to turn these lights on. Uh, I think I'll work that out a bit later, but we're going to take a look at some of the flowers and the vase. So here's the vase. Very good build technique, given that um, curved look. It's actually quite large. And then we've got some really nice coloured flowers here. They're all in that orange and light yellows and like dark greens as well. Very earthy looking. Lots of different type of sunflowers and different build techniques of the flowers, which I really liked. I didn't get bored building any of these. 
I like this green spiky flower also and how they've used the gears for the inside of the flower. Here's like another beautiful yellow flower, great build techniques. They look really lovely. So this is what they look like in the vase so far. We've got one that's fallen down. We've got this green one that's wilted a bit. You can adjust them to the position you like also. This is looking really pretty. Okay, so the final bag does more flowers. So we've got ones here with those horsey tails. <laughs> well, I call them horsey tails. And then this type of flower, all different shades of yellow. They look absolutely stunning. The quality of these bricks is really, really good. Now, check out this flower. It looks like part of it's dyed. So they made them look really realistic. I think this flower is my favourite so far. Just looks stunning. I love how it moves. You can position the petals. Here's the little support stand for the back of the picture because you can actually make it like into a photo frame. So here's what it looks like when it stands up. I can't begin to tell you how beautiful this set looks. So it's very sturdy, it's strong, it is holding this very heavy photo frame, picture frame up. Very good quality. Now I looked at the instructions these little tiles are very easy to remove and that's to turn the light on and off because before I was like how am I going to turn these lights on so you just slide that little bit out and you flick the switch and there you go the lights are on I was like how am I going to do that but nope that's the way it's done and look at this hang on it's turning off and on now I also read that if it doesn't sense any movement, it will turn off. I think it was after 15 seconds. So yeah, you just stick your hand in front of that little hole there and the lights turn on. So I guess that's to save batteries if you want to leave it on. It's very beautiful. I, I really love this set. The JM Bricklayer Sunflowers set that's been inspired by Vincent van Gogh. Love it. I'm not hanging it up on the wall. I am going to use it like a photo frame. This set is stunning. I can't begin to tell you how actually beautiful it looks in real life. This is my favourite set from JM Bricklayer. Hands down. I normally love buildings and things like that, but this set... I, I can't describe it. It's beautiful. If you love flowers, if you want to have a unique gift for someone, this is the set for you. So everyone, get your bricks out.